Yo, what's up? This your boy Cortez G from HipHopAlbumDebate.com. Alright, this debate topic is about Stoop Dogs, the games to be sold, not to be told. Uh, was it a classic? Was it dope? Was it regular? Uh, was it garbage? And uh, If you guys remember, this was the first album that he recorded with No Limit. Uh, this was after he left a death row. And uh, I, I was happy to see that happen. Um, I was from the, I'm from the South, so of course, I was a fan of No Limit. I was a fan of Snoop, so I was as happy as the Golden State fans were uh, when they acquired Kevin Durant. Uh, Snoop was a big star. KD was a big star. No Limit uh, was a winning team, so it was Golden State. Only difference, uh, Snoop's style didn't really work well in that No Limit offense in terms of the No Limit sound, the Beats by the Pound production. It really didn't mesh with Snoop's laid back flow. And I think they realized that eventually because uh, if you go listening to uh, No Limit Tank Dog and The Last Meal, you would hear more Snoop. Whereas uh, it's like they went in creating that album with Snoop as the foundation while adding uh, that No Limit sound as needed, uh, when needed, as opposed to uh, the game was to be sold, not to be told. You can tell they went in with the No Limit Foundation and they added that uh, the Snoop sound. And, uh, you know, needless to say, it was some bangers on the album, don't get me wrong. Snoop World, Slow Down, uh, still a G thing. Uh, the album was, it was in between average and dope. It could go either way. Uh, if you weren't a fan of No Limit, uh, then you would find this album average at best. Uh, whereas for me, again, I was a fan of Snoop and No Limit. So even though the chemistry really didn't work, I'm leaning towards dope. All right, let's see what you guys got to say. All right, my man Marcus says his worst album, and I was a fan of No Limit. Mario said, this album was bumping. It still had that West Coast feel with that down South bounce. He went two times platinum off this joint. Alright, Jeff says, this album was the worst of his three album contract with no limit. His best was Top Dog. And it was also the last Snoop album that I ever purchased. Alright, my man Jamal Harris says that I think it was regular, but it wasn't whack by a long shot. Uh, Woof uh, wasn't a bad song, and still a G thing wasn't either. It was something new that the fans had to get used to used to listening to. Joey said that shit was garbage. I love Snoop and all, but he just didn't blend in with them. His other two albums with No Limit were classics because he had gone back to G Funk uh, with Dre and Quick producing the album. And there you have it. It's your boy Cortez G. I'm signing off to hip hop album debate.com, the site where the real debate goes on. And oh, yeah. This is a My Music Passions company.